are interested in a man who is considered a nice guy, be careful, here's why. There is a major, major difference in a nice guy versus a good guy. The nice guys, 99% of the time, their personality is fake so that they can get something that they want. You will notice common characteristics in them, saying yes all the time, being super easygoing, never setting boundaries or speaking their mind. Even if they are not trying to get something out of you, what will happen is resentment will build up in them and they will hate you and be angry at you for them not being able to speak their mind and say what they need. A good guy. Welcome to the S Banks and the JD Network podcast. I'm your host, S Banks, and I'm joined with my co-host, JD. What's the title today? Nice guy versus the good guy. Interesting. Interesting. We're going to play a couple of clips for you today. Soon you're going to know exactly what we're talking about. I don't want to waste any time. Let's start with clip number one. Here's clip number one. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say every woman here is a pick me? More or less. Not you. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How is, how is understanding how the other species operates and how what they value what they want how is understanding them a pick me when we always because say well wait 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 when we always say that they need to understand women they need to understand women it's like how are you supposed to be in a relationship with someone you when you get in a relationship with friends you try to understand your friends who and you want them to understand you so you can grow that relationship so you can be the best friend they have in that relationship how are you going to be one-sided and say oh we don't need to understand men we don't need to know this about men they need to understand us and how we operate and that's a pick me if we try to understand how they operate to be able to have a good relationship to not be single at 40 with 12 kids to not die alone with a dog how is that a pick me well fuck you. exactly well said well said um she has 24 hours to respond to that question. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> What's your thoughts on that? Um, <clears throat> honestly, yeah. this pick me crap is annoying to hear. Um, Don't you hear pick me when... Okay, this is what I get from that. Women... Sh it's women actually shame other women. I know. Men don't shame other women for her being submissive. Her yep. competing for the man that she says she Something wants to be shamed about men don't do that it's other mm. women shaming other women so when a woman doesn't go when she goes against the grain mm -hmm. as far as the the feminist culture and all of that when she goes when she doesn't abide by those rules mm -hmm. she gets called names and she gets shamed for it but then in the same breath she goes not you though keep it 100 you're saying her to you no man. no but i'm saying keep it 100 i know Keep it 100. Don't be fake about it. If you're going to um, give someone a backhanded compliment or you're mm -hmm. going to give them them slide, this is on them underhanded, whatever. Keep it 100. Just say what it is. And you think she's a pick me. But you think she's a pick me based on her gathering knowledge of how the opposite sex works. So she's saying if you want to have friends, you, you work on your relationship as far as understanding the needs and wants of your friends and they do likewise with you. Mm -hmm. So why is it any different in a relationship that you say you want with the men that you say you want? Exactly. It's common sense. Why is it that women choose to be submissive and cooperative to them, to their men? Remember that to their men, to their husband. And do you get called pick me or you get called names? Why do we get, why do women who, like you said, <coughs> want to know about what the men want mm. want to know about you know having that understanding you know what men want just like women um want to know sorry getting tongue-tied just like women want men to understand uh, we want them to understand us yeah what is wrong with us trying to understand the man because at the end of the day, yeah. you want to get a man, right? You want a man. But you say no. But the thing is this, right? You say you want to get a man. Women believe men today are expendable, so their mentality is because I get a lot of dudes slide up in my DMs. I get a lot of dudes holler at me, mm -hmm. and these men only want you for short term recreational use, right? So they assume or they equate that those dudes sliding up in the DMs to men wanting them for long term. Mm -hmm. But then for a dude. See, a man has to create his value. Women mm -hmm. are born with the value. So a lot of women believe, 
although I've been born with the value, I don't need to know what men want. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. You have to know what men want. You have to know. Okay. If you work in in, in customer service, mm-hmm. you got to learn how to be kind. You got to learn how to to be courteous. You got to understand people. True. But a lot of women think, oh, how many people have uh, have approached you? You know that thing on the street where they put money in the bucket or whatever, mm. right? Oh, we, we're, I'm promoting evangelists. This. So so I'm Christians. I, so no. So I'm a pro. I'm I'm um trying to get money for this charity. Oh, charities, yeah. But then they approach you. Mm-hmm. With their coochie, or they approach men particularly with the sentiment of, "Oh, let me make him believe mm. he's he, he gonna get some guts." Mm. See, so that means you don't understand men. Mm. That means you don't understand men. That might have gone over some people's heads. So, how you're approaching people, particularly men, is let me like, "What are you up to today? What are you doing?" Mm. Blah blah blah. So, if you got a girlfriend, blah blah blah. Nothing about the charity. So that's all you know. It's just how to um, transactional. Yes. <laughs> that's all you know. I want to say this. Yeah. Why is it normal, especially today, for women to go, they they basically, let's say this, the woman's in a job for 20 years mm. and working for Zaddy. They're on their best behavior. They're not, combative they're not rude they're not disrespectful Mm. but when it comes to serving their own man you're called a pick me a slave a mammy you're stupid Mm -hmm. to comply and be cooperative with a man yeah it's it's you know you're dumb like what is that about Uh, if you're able to um because you are submitting in your workplace yeah. Because you're you're doing everything you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. Why is it so difficult or why is it so hard for women to grasp that you can you just need to do the same thing in a relationship? So, okay, let me touch on that. And this is my final thought on this. And people don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me give you a moment. <laughs> if you love the content, hit the like button, man. Let's give you a moment to do that. Okay. You done it. All right, cool. <laughs> Anyways, you're saying a woman, women, submit to their boss mm-hmm. for twenty years plus, longer. But when they come home, they don't submit to their husband, someone that they're given their prized possession to, which is their womb, children, family. They're more submissive to work and careers and their boss. The reason for that is because in my opinion, is that they value money. Mm-hmm. So the things that they're supposed to value is all external things, which is transactional. Mm-hmm. Hence why I mentioned it in the last thing I said, mm-hmm. as far as, oh, they, they lead w- with their sexuality and the thought of smashing because it's transactional. And they equate my box, because what do women more time have to offer outside of their box? Mm-hmm. A lot of them don't offer much. So they know they don't qualify they don't have the facilities that most men would want, but most men want to smash. So yeah. that's what they use. So when a woman is in a job for 20 years plus and she doesn't back chat the boss, she does what she needs to do. But when she comes home, she feels like it's slavery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're capable. Yes. You're capable of doing it. You just don't want to. And mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm sorry. Wait, it's not that. She, yeah, I agree. She doesn't want to. What it comes down to is what she values. So sometimes more time than often they va- they value money mm-hmm. and monetization over everything else and they value careers over committed relationships and mm-hmm. husbands and their children and they're selfish and they come first and i agree with you yeah but like i said i'm gonna repeat it so you're capable but mm-hmm. you just don't want to because mm-hmm. your values are what mm-hmm. you just said money so to that you wonder why men will get sick and tired of you. I'm sorry. If he knows that you're capable of doing it, you do it at work, say you're in a relationship, you do it at work, he sees you do it to your boss, you don't chat to your boss in no funny way, but when you come home, come home you, you want to do that to me. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. this is the reason why men are getting their passports and their documents together to fly yeah. 
far away and, from and you. And men are not just flying away, they're staying away. Exactly. I'm sorry, ladies, but don't you feel a way about that? No. Because don't they, you feel a because, way about because that? Because they have enough simps to give them attention. A simp. And attention is a woman's currency. Okay, true. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. a woman's currency. But there is no achievement in being single because if you're dwelling on a simp, you don't want him. So you may as well say you're single. So you're bragging about men that you don't want. Exactly. So you may as well say you're single. You know, yeah. in a relationship, you don't want this man. So, so He's none, not your so first choice. Nonetheless, in order for you to have the outcomes that you say you want, mm -hmm. then you're going to have to understand men. Whether you've been born with your value or not, you're going to have to un understand men. You're going to have to understand people and how things work. That's just some of my thoughts. Yeah. Let's move to clip number two. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And people put in the comments. What was your thoughts? Do, do you think women need to understand men? Because women are born with their value. Men, you know, are not born with their value. We mm. have to make ourselves who we are. Yeah. We have to climb the mountain. So what's your thoughts on that? Anyways, comments. anyways, in that being said, let's move to clip number two. If we're interested in a man who is considered a nice guy, be careful. Here's why. There is a major, major difference in a nice guy versus a good guy. The nice guys, 99% of the time, their personality is fake so that they can get something that they want. You will notice common characteristics in them, saying yes all the time, being super easygoing, never setting boundaries or speaking their mind. Even if they are not trying to get something out of you, what will happen is resentment will build up in them and they will hate you and be angry at you for them not being able to speak their mind and say what they need. A good guy, this is the type of guy that you wanna go for. He is the one who is led by his integrity, by his value and his morals. He is genuinely a good man. You will notice characteristics about him. He has no problem setting boundaries. He speaks his mind. He has self-respect and self-love. He is able to love you fully. Do not date a nice guy. Instead, choose a good guy. Okay. Very interesting. Who agrees with her analogy, her ideology, who disagrees? Put in the comments. Now, <laughs> I think where she's going with it is this. Mm -hmm. Nice guy and good guy. So you got some guys that are the chameleon. Mm -hmm. They pretend to be something that they're not. Yep. So those are typically the men that's in the friend zone. The men that pretend they want to be your friend, but they're waiting for you to get your back blown out by the other dude so you can confide in them. And then before you know it, you're in bed with them. So they're not being sincere and they're sneaky suckers. Yeah. So... <laughs> Would men like that, you have to be where. So I get her analogy and it makes sense because I've, I've come across some of these guys where they're like, yeah, she's my friend. She's my friend. And then when this so-called friend is chatting to another man, mm -hmm. he's there cock blocking. Mm -hmm. But I thought you're a friend. You're not attracted to her like that. And that very same woman, women that say, he's just my friend. You know, he wants more, but you're pretending. And my thing is this, with men and women, right? Men and women can't be friends. No. In, in, in some small cases, they can, but for the most part, they can't. Now, one person's always going to like the other person. But the flip side of it is this. <clears throat> if a man is, a friend, is, is friends with a woman, he gets nothing from it. Mm. <clears throat> if women, if a woman is friends with a man, she gets the four Ps like it's the man's daughter or a seed's wife. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have to do anything for it. I do think it depends on the woman. I get what you mean but and she, I agree. Okay. I've had I've had female friends, right? Mm -hmm. That have used me for my resources and my four Ps. Yeah. But not getting nothing for it. Like I said, so I think. So I, I, I gain nothing. Yes. And I agree yeah. with you. <clears throat> I do think it also depends on the woman. Like you said, Okay. For you, you didn't get nothing from it. You was given, but you didn't receive jack ish, right? Yeah. There are some women that don't mind giving back. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, for what they're receiving. But, so you're, then, but, you're, but you're speaking of a very small, small. Yes, tiny but I'm group. just highlighting that there are some women yeah. that they do give back mm -hmm. to, you know, the guys that are, you know, genuinely helping them out mm. and stuff. So, yeah, you can carry on. And I think. 
with guys that are in the friend zone. We've done clips where guys have been in the friend zone 15 years. Mm-hmm. Pretending he want to be a friend for 15 years. I've said it so many times. I'm sure guys have heard it. You can't buy attraction. So I get where she's going. Yeah. And more time. Let's be realistic. Whether you got a nice guy or a good guy, women are poor pickers in men. True. So even when you get that guy, that's the, was it the good, which one's the good one? The good guy and the nice guy. So when you get the guy, that's um, the good guy. Mm hmm. You don't know if he's good or he's nice. So mm. then if you think back in the day when brothers and fathers used to help women vet men. Yeah. Because women are poor apple pickers. Yeah. They're poor pickers in men. Mm-hmm. No accountability. And when that don't work out, it's all you men. True. Because half the time you can see a sucker. <laughs> you can see a dude you can. that's trying to pander to you. I think you. Yeah. There is a difference. I think sometimes that guy, that nice guy is good at his game, right? Mm. So then it's a little bit harder to, you know, see the cracks in the signs. But I would say if you give it a little bit of time. um, How much time? How much time? Not too much time. But I'm saying, okay, some guys, they'll crack on the same day and not even realize it. Mm. So say, you know, they're being nice or whatever. And it's like. Okay, okay. Explain that scenario. So the guy's being nice. What does he do? Let's give him, paint me the picture mm. of the typical scenario. So you met the guy maybe on, on the street or a dating site. What um, does he do? I was more thinking of in person. So not okay. on the dating site. So in, in, in person. But I was just saying like, say, I don't know, you're at a bar or something and mm-hmm. the guy comes across nice. He, you know, his, he seems approachable. He, he seems to okay. scrub up well. You know, he seems like that down to earth sort of person. But say you're in a group, for example, and then people are talking and then his. So he's confident. So Mm -hmm. he approaches, he's confident. Okay. So say like he's saying, I don't know, say someone's saying something and then I don't know. I can't explain it, but you just, there's cracks showing and then you're sort of like. "Mm." So the cracks showing typically would be he keeps talking about smashing yeah he he does certain things and it makes you think maybe he sounds too good to be true yeah so it probably is (laughs) yeah (laughs) see i'm just throwing out some things Mm. that i see all the time right and do women know the right things to ask men Um, they don't i don't think they they, they say okay women often say he doesn't know how to have a conversation Mm -hmm. He keeps talking about smashing. Mm-hmm. But what they do is they don't know how to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. They keep giving one worded answers and they don't ask the right questions. Mm-hmm. Hence why they keep making poor decisions in men. This is why I say, okay, cool. Fathers and brothers used to help women screen and vet men. Yeah. But the thing is this, when the fathers and brothers and the, and the masculine male figures in their lives help them screen and vet men, are they even raised to be a wife? Are they ready for this? Good question. Are they ready for this? A lot of they, women. He's, he's, are for, not. he's for right on their lap. Mm. They ready? Do you? <laughs> you ready to be a wife? <laughs> Do you agree with? Um, <laughs> That's what I think. They're not ready to be a wife. No, a lot of women aren't. <laughs> Do you agree with arranged marriages? I think arranged marriages work in the East. I think they they work overall more than what you're seeing in the West. So, yeah, I, I, they do work. Okay. In 2022 and how the dating pool is and how everything is going now, would you suggest arranged marriages? That depends on, on, on the circumstances. For some people it works, for some people it doesn't. If you're in the West, you have to understand there's a culture. Things are different here. Mm. So it just depends. But I think if you're in a different country, if you're in the East, then they more do arranged marriages and they actually work better relationships. But people would argue other things also. There's contributing things to add to that as well. Mm. But it just depends. Yeah. It just depends. I, I, it's kind of hard for me to go into all of the context because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, yeah. But arranged marriages do work as well. They do work as well. So that's food for thought. Anyways. Nice guy versus the good guy. Ladies, do you know how to pick? Are you ready to be a wife? If that guy, bloop, 
falls on your lap. <laughs> you ready for that? Anyways, let's move to the final clip of this podcast and we'll come back, give you our thoughts. Without further delay, it's clip number three. My husband had the audacity to ask me like why I don't make his lunch for him to take to work. And I'm like, well, why would I do that? And he was like, well, you know, the other guys at work, their wives make them lunch. And then they asked me like, why does my wife make me lunch? And I was like, you know what? The guys at my work, their wives don't have to work. And they asked me like, why do you have to work? My wife doesn't have to work. Never asked me for lunch again. Okay. What's your thoughts on that? Um... <clears throat> Should a wife make her husband lunch? I would just say yes, just in general. Um, I think she should want to make him lunch, but that's me. I personally like to feed. I like to feed my man. So it okay. wouldn't be an issue for me, but this is what I don't get. So she, instead of um, considering what he's saying, mm -hmm. she chooses to be combative instead. She chooses to you know, come back with a counter. And it's not a counter offer. It's is she just wrong? a counter. Is she wrong to come back with a counter? I'm not saying... I think she's wrong in a way, in a sense of... Okay. When you're in a relationship or a marriage... Okay. And you're in that marriage for quite a while, or in that relationship for quite a while. First of all, things change, right? Mm -hmm. um, people change. Um, things that you want change. Yeah. So say in the beginning, for example, they both agreed on paying 50-50 in, in that relationship because women want equality, right? So 50-50. She <laughs> says yes. He says yes. She's working. He's working. That's what you lot agreed on at that time. You didn't agree on making him lunch. Okay, cool. That was at that time. But say a couple years ago down the line, um, he has that conversation with his work workmates Mm -hmm. they realize that he, um, he don't get lunch made for him and the rest do. So he highlights it to her. Like, why don't you make me lunch? Like, maybe it's just a general question. Like, oh, this this has come to me. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm asking sort of thing. So in turn, what you're saying is, it's not that deep <laughs> no. to make your man some lunch. It's not that deep. I'm just saying yeah. things change in relationships. So instead of being combative, why don't you say... Mm -hmm. consider but but okay hold up a second men value appreciation men value respect mm -hmm. not his wife coming on social media to embarrass him for some silly little likes on tiktok mm -hmm. there's no respect there no if my wife my woman whoever i'm seeing goes on social media and does some ish like that it's she don't good. respect me mm -hmm. but she doesn't respect me i know so then i hear what you're saying as far as okay when we first got together, we sat down, we spoke. People, you need to communicate when you're in relationships. So you sat down and spoke. This is what it's going to be. We're going to pay this 50-50. However you might do it. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. But then let me get this straight, man. My wife won't make me a sandwich. And how she counters me is embarrassing me and emasculating me by saying to me, the other guys, their wives don't need to work. Mm. But hold up a second. Do you think that was her mentality when she was... Um, being courted by this guy when mm -hmm. she was roping him in so there was conditional femininity there mm -hmm. soft girl error yeah this is what a lot of men need to look out for women that play the chameleon mm -hmm. you're not really that chick because if you think that if she said it to him from the rip unless he's if he's a decent guy yeah if he was a simp you'd accept it but if he's a decent guy do you think a chick's gonna say off the rip i ain't making you no sandwich she had to compete and stand out but that's not who she truly was maybe that guy's thinking shit I'm getting the guts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh now, oh, now he wants to cash out. And he just ran with her. There's different scenarios in that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I am just honestly think that if his, if, if your man is coming to you and saying, oh, I would like this. I, we don't know how he said it. We don't know. But I'm just saying, say he's like, oh, I would like you to make me lunches instead of me buying it or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And instead of countering, countering him with BS, why don't you say, okay, I, mm -hmm. why don't you just consider doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Even though I think you should do it anyway. But 
you can then come with a counter off of oh like she said oh I, um the, I've, yeah. the other but, men yeah, but she say that him, i don't have to yeah, work but she hits him back with making him feel like he's two feet tall mm-hmm. oh, no i know so i don't agree she ain't got that much money but she never i know in the beginning conditional femininity mm-hmm. if he makes this amount of money i'll be submissive mm. i'll be feminine either you're feminine or you're not true and we know that's not what she came with and most women don't do that that's the truth what's so hard in fixing your man some lunch a plate you don't need to do it every single day you can do it here and there yep. just to make his life easier because when it comes to the bills he may pay the, most men pay the bills most men are traditional mm. so Might i'm gonna 70, pay the bills thing. exactly but, but nonetheless right mm. if you hear that loud bang at night i have to risk my life for you and the children right mm. and to right the man should do that I'm not arguing that, mm. but she can't even make me a lunch and I'm supposed to risk my life for this thing. I want <laughs> to bring up truth. cheating. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, <laughs> switch it up a bit. Mm. I'm going to bring up sw- cheating, right? Mm. So I think when things like this happen, this is when cheating starts because say at his workplace, there's women there. And then say in that conversation he was having with the guys, there was women hearing then she, a lot of women, how women like to get in there and to step on toes Go and on, to do all of those us. things, right? Tell us. I, I know, but tell us. <laughs> Even if the man is married, if a man is complaining about certain things and that woman... Who's sees... he complaining to? Let's paint no, 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 okay, a picture. <laughs> so his, okay. Like I said, he's talking to the other guys at his workplace. And then, and then the other women are listening. Exactly. In. Oh, okay, okay. So... They're listening in. Mm-hmm. Say there's one of the the women there like him. Single. Yeah. Single. And they Beefy, like him. And Ray Ray's, Brads and Chad. She's been She's saying, I don't want this no more. I wanna be submissive, right? Okay. So then <laughs> she's this is where women like to, you know, slide in there. Mm-hmm. And she would say something like, Oh, yeah like i would make my if i was in a relationship or if i was married i would make my really? man breakfast anybody lunch, would think and dinner. anybody would think <laughs> i would make my man breakfast lunch and yeah. dinner uh, and snacks in between <laughs> right so that's how women like to get in there they like to say the complete opposite of what the man is complaining about to mm-hmm. make their self look better and yeah. they worm their way their way in that Chameleon. way so then say the next day, he was complaining to the fellas, right? Yeah. The next day, she goes home and thinks, okay, I'm going to put together some food for his lunch, Something right? Simple. Seeing as his wife don't want to give it to him. Yeah. Come in the next day, give the guy, oh, I've made some lunch for you. Oh, I overheard whatever. Mm-hmm. I've made some lunch for you, whatever. What do you think he's going to start thinking? Raw. Gotcha. Exactly. <laughs> gotcha. Before you know it, he's a fool. And then and she's the new wife. Then, then he's recreated the same ish again because she's doing the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Going on TikTok saying, make food for who? When in the beginning, that's what she done. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, that's true. But sometimes yeah. she's actually being serious. And that's yeah. more because she made mistakes prior. Yeah. But yeah. Let, me, let me say this. Screening and vetting is paramount. And mm-hmm. I think men and women should do this more often. And if you're dating with intention and being serious about long-term relationships, marriage, long, you don't have to be married, but mm-hmm. long-term commitments, I think you should screen and vet those dudes. Some women are the chameleon. Some guys are the nice guy, good guy. It just depends. Again, you have to, you have to have climbed the mountain. You have to go through the trials and tribulations. Some can see it. Some can see through the fog more than others. But my thing is this, right? Do you remember we done that podcast about she will submit, but only if this is the chick that's saying, well, if he pays the bills, I will do X, Y, Z. Mm. Some of the things you mentioned, we'll tag that one now. I feel like if you guys have come to the conclusion or made the agreement with both of yourselves or whatever, that, okay, the guy is going to take care of the bills. He's going to pay for, you know what I'm saying? A majority of the stuff or whatever. I feel like as a woman and y'all correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm tripping or whatever, I feel like as a woman, there are certain things that you should automatically do. If he's doing that and I have agreed to let him do that, Mm -hmm. then there are going to be things that usually he might've had to worry about that. He's no longer going to have to worry about. Like he's not going to have to worry about 
having dinner. He's I not want some have food. To worry about is that too much. That wants some food. Waking me up in the Come middle on. of the night. I want a sandwich, or I want some eggs, or I want some fruit, or something. I'm finna get up and cut the fruit. Yeah. I'm finna get up and fry the eggs. Yeah. I'm finna get up and do whatever. Like he's not gonna have to worry about coming now. Home. And this woman is talking about. Okay, he pays this. I'll make him a sandwich late at night. If mm. that be the case. Now, if women complied, if that was if that's your setup, if you had a conversation, you said, okay, the setup is you be the homemaker, I'll pay all the bills, and you communicate. I read something today, right? And it was a woman posting, she said, her and her husband being together a certain time. They said every six months they check in and have a conversation. Mm. Are, are we both meeting the the requirements of mm. the other person? That's good. You know, it's, that's really good. That's mm. communication. Yeah. You know, the sad part. People's like six months. That's long. long. That? No, no. People's like six months is long. How then is that then, long? then it's like, what's the point in dating today? No, think about, did that go over your head? Think about they it. They said six months is long. How is she said long? every six months. They're thinking six months. That was long. It did not go over my head. What's the point? I'm, I'm, not, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> Wow. what's the problem? Wow. Because I'm sorry, if you have that thing with your woman or that thing with your man and you lot check in every six months, <laughs> you're taking this shit seriously. You're thinking every six months, we're going to go through the list that we went through last six months ago. So it shows you. And make sure we're yeah, on. But it shows you most people ain't serious. Mm -hmm. More time. Men just want a regular smash. Women want the wedding, not the marriage. Mm. That's my final thought. I think that's a, actually a really good idea. <laughs> I think saying. it is. Yeah. Because Check say, it every six months. Say in within that time or whatever, six months later, and it's like, do you know what? We tried this for six months. I, I want to tweak a little bit. Can we tweak it a little bit? Because this works exactly. for me a bit better. That's good, actually. Exactly, exactly. Mm. That's food for thought, man. <laughs> but at the end of the day, people was like, six months? Really? I can't be with someone for six months. And it shows you, can't you be with someone for that was that was a sentiment that was the energy but it shows you dating today is a cesspool now yeah. women want the relationships men just want to smash so women are going to fear worse you don't really than, want than a the relationship men. if that's a woman's attitude you don't really want a relationship you just want to to like you said the women they that, want they, the wedding, i want to be married but and not the marriage not really just, married. so just to show the ring exactly it is what it is that is food for thought that's some of our thoughts on these subjects. Anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I don't know if you want to say anything more. And press that notification yes, bell. Yes, press the notification bell. Hit that like button. It's good to get the views, but hit the like button and subscribe. And Anyways. let us know what you think in the comment section. Yes. Anyways, and that being said, see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. We out.